Oh, sh Whoa! What is up, fam? Welcome to another haunted adventure. My name is Omar, and today I bring you the Old South Pittsburgh Hospital. Now, I oftentimes get asked, hey, Omar, what is the scariest location that you have ever visited? Whoa! And there's a reason why the Old South Pittsburgh Hospital is one of my favorites as well. Today I'm joined with my friend Jody Dean, Mr. Hunting the Dead. We are splitting up across this hospital to investigate on our own. Last time I was here, I caught so much evidence. There's so much history behind these walls. I can't wait to share this history with you. Please wish us luck. Let's do this. curtains for me all right if you can't move these curtains at least let me know that you're here <gasps> this is one place for sure you can get lost in there's so much to explore last time I was here is a couple years back and some new owners since then took it over they cleaned up the place quite a bit let's go say hi to Jody's right over here What are you doing? Guys, this is crazy. Boo! Bro. Come here. <laughs> what? You're not gonna believe this. All right. Oh my god. All right. So Jim liked music, right? Yeah. Uh, he built the all these studios in here. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. This guy has studios he built inside of a hospital that is severely haunted, which they believe maybe he haunts. I'm sitting down here and I said, Jim, if you would like to make some music together, could you do this? And he knocked back? I waited back? for a second and, it, and bro, it, it knocked right back. What? Yes. If you would like to make some music with me, maybe just do this. All you have to do... There's a picture right over here of Jim. And there was a lot of things said about Jim that weren't true. There's, there's Jim. And he was the janitor here at the Old South Pittsburgh Hospital, and he did live here. And his room is right around the corner. Well, a lot of people used to say that he was a bad man, and he was a drug addict, and things like that. And he was just kind of like a cool hippie guy. Uh, well, as soon as they started bringing in some real paranormal research teams and doing more investigating, he let down, and he wasn't as aggressive as he used to be. Now, right here where I'm at, this was filthy the last time I was here. It was just full of stuff. Yo, Jody, where'd you go? Oh, Jody's right over here. Oh, this was really cool. We made these studios. And... Earlier, Jody was in here spitting some raps, and I was recording, and we heard some noises coming from over here, from what's believed to be Jim's room. I mean, it is Jim's room. Oh, this is Jim's room right here. Oh, being that Jim was a musician, it's really cool. So they'll play music for him and they have a video of it. I, I did. Uh, and by the way, I, I did do a members only video and it's a, it's an hour long, probably over an hour long. And it, it kind of displayed a lot of the history of the old South Pittsburgh hospital. So yeah, probably one of my biggest member videos ever. If you want to become a member and support my channel, be sure to check it out. It's pretty awesome. We also captured and it's raw video hour long video but I captured a lot of footage including a balloon moving from a spirit now we're gonna go up 
to the second floor where that balloon is. There's a glow, like a glow light in it. And we're gonna see if we can get the spirit to move it again. But anyways, they, they were playing Missy Elliott. I guess that was one of his favorite artists. And as soon as they started playing the music, like all the K2 meters started going crazy. The REM pod. So if you're ever visiting here, be sure to play some music for Jim. He'll, he'll definitely come check you out and, and pay you a visit. Jody was in here just a little bit ago and I don't know what it is that he heard, but he heard something and he did also get a knock over there. So yeah, some very active rooms here haunted by the ghost of Jim. Not an aggressive spirit, very friendly spirit, but he was aggressive at one point. If you talk anything bad about him, call him a drug addict, he's gonna be aggressive with you. But I think he cleared his name of that. I mean, I'd, I'd wanna stick up for myself too. So anyways. I guess we're split up now. Yeah, this was this was all like just full of junk. Yeah, those studios are rad too. Oh look! <laughs> Hi there, mister. It's a pet beetle. <laughs> oh. Yo, what's up, man? Bro. <laughs> Did I scare you? You scared me. Dude. Oh, I'm sorry. It was really quiet down here, and like I just heard like a voice come from over this way, and that's where I was heading. Do you remember the room that she was saying? I just came out of there. You came out of it? Yeah, I was just telling the people, like, when we, when I first came here, I was drawn to this room, and then she spit the story about how she felt like she was kind of attacked. One of the volunteers here by the name of Sam, she said that she was in this room right here, and something, it, it felt like something to her went up and bear hugged her and squeezed her so tight. And when she came out, like, I think for the next couple of days, her ribs were in a lot of pain and it was in this room here. I'll come to find out there is a man that haunts this room that used to be a soldier, I think. I could be wrong about the soldier part, but it's, it's definitely, oh, it's a man and a little boy. to see here. Hey, look. Is that a Barbie? Or no, it's just a little dog. It's in her, it's in her little jacuzzi. <laughs> this work? No? A little paranormal pool. <laughs> her paranormal pool. <laughs> Do not enter? I think we'll go in. That's a invitation. Yeah, that's like... Oh, violation! Oh, is that yours? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody see that. Wanna go up to the second floor? Yeah. You know what, how about, um... Let's go to the third floor. Oh, the third floor is really scary. I know. You even felt uneasy. Well, yeah. Don't give away too much because they have to watch the member video. Yeah, so, I did do a members only video. I did mention that a little bit ago. But we were on the third floor caught quite a bit of activity in, in raw form. Well, anyways, right before entering up there, she says, you know, hey, if you feel sick or uneasy or, you know, whatever, you know, just come back down. And I'm like, oh, I'll be fine. No lie. Even right now, I still feel dizzy from being up there on the third floor. Do you know the story about this room right here? No, but a, a hit just came from here. Okay, so this room was occupied by a dementia patient by the name of Nellie, old woman, and she was found in here dead in the corner. Well, she haunts this room, and she does not like if you have that door closed. At this door? No. Oh, oh, it's opening! Is that you, Nelly? Come on, Nelly, open it all the way. 
All the way. I just heard a voice. Did you? Yeah. Oh, sh**. Whoa! Dude. Oh, holy grail. That's crazy. I guess she doesn't like it when you open it. <gasps> oh! Just did it again, bro! Oh, yo, I just heard a hum. Oh, sh listen. What was that? Dude, it sounded like a woman. I heard that. It's gone now, though. It was like a... Yeah. I wonder if that knock was like saying, like, hey, come in here. And doing that door was like saying, hey, don't do that. Like a welcome knock? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. Or sometimes, like, I was walking down this hallway earlier, not this one, the one on the second floor, and I said, I'm going to walk by all these rooms, and I want you to make a noise in one of these rooms when you want me to stop to let mm -hmm. me know where you're at. Bro, I'm walking, and all of a sudden, there was a noise in a room. Oh. I went in there, and it just felt crazy. Wow. Forgot to mention, it's like a million degrees up here. So we just found this out, too. I, I don't know if you heard this. But one of the nurses, because sometimes people will come visit this place, uh -huh. they used to work here. So there was a nurse who used to work here, and she said that there was a man that used to be in this room, and he was extremely, like, suicidal. So he, like... In 303? I think, I believe it was 303. Wow. So this window was open, mm -hmm. and he went from this room and ran out that window. Oh, my and God. And the, the, yeah, the window was open. He ended up n not dying. He survived, but he broke both of his legs. Really? Yeah, so that was a pretty... Yeah, we can't even see down there, guys. But no. It, it's obviously pretty far. I mean, I mean, you could die. Fly. I mean, this yeah. is three stories up. Being that I brought up the S word, I mean, I know that there's probably somebody, I mean, even if it's one person watching, you know, if you're going through something where you feel like ending your own life is the way to go, I just want you to know that's not the way to go. You don't get rid of it when you end your life you pass it on to several other people so just know that there's light at the end of the tunnel you will get through it uh, for somebody who's struggled with depression before i mean i could definitely tell you that you do come out a stronger person so uh, hang in there just know that you're a lot stronger than you even know the third floor is so much different than the others <laughs> yeah it's hot <laughs> it, it, it's hotter it's... but there's also like a more intense vibration of spiritualness. Oh, there is. Oh, look at the baby up there. Wow, that's creepy. Whoa, dude, look at that. All right, look, I just mentioned how it's a million degrees up here. I'm pretty sure I would have felt some wind. Amen. something creepy yeah of course maybe we can catch it it'd be awesome if we can my middle name is creepy <laughs> uh, oh dude something just touched did you touch me on my head no <laughs> no i was behind you i'm filming behind you bro no clipping no i just got like a legit tap like it felt like you went like this on my head like i swear i did not bro i had you full frame in mind bro don't don't Bro, I'm not. I'm not messing with you. I swear. Put it on your kids. You didn't touch me. Oh, I put it on my kids. I didn't touch you. I, I'm serious. I've been touched in here on the bottom floor. And you know what? It was right before. I, I gotta show you something. Where is it at? Oh shit! Oh wow! That scared the crap out of me. Whoa. That's not what I was gonna show you, but. <laughs> it's like she's giving a high five. <laughs> Are you the one that touched me right now? Hey! High five! She got the corona. Who touched me right now? <gasps> Bro, you heard that?
So look, this is uh, where they used to have the babies in the windows. Like, this is where they had the babies? Yeah, they'd have like their little bassinets in here and the little window stickers with your name. It was like a... I've never been in one before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in here, bro. No, it's right over here. Labor and delivery. So earlier, Sam was telling me she was in here with one of her friends and they were doing something. And they both heard it, bro. They heard a woman just screaming inside here. Really? They both heard it at the same time and they both froze. They were like, what the hell was that? Like screaming, screaming? Yes, and then it happened a second time. On a second scream, and they, they left out of here like just really super scared. We, box. we gotta do a spirit box. So, uh, if you don't know about the labor and delivery room, I mean, this is where women gave birth, where they had uh, emergency operations, C sections, women would probably die here. Uh, a lot of pain, a lot of screaming happened in this room. So, it, it's not out of the ordinary. Can you scream for us? Go ahead. It was like a five foot gray apparition. And when the, I think it was Sam, when she went and reached out and grabbed it, mm -hmm. it she said that it felt like, like water, like when you put your hands under water, mm -hmm. Like, that's what it felt like. Really? That's what it felt like when she touched the apparition? When she touched the apparition, yeah. Wow. And it happened right in this room right here. The very, very next day, two people that do not... Oh, <gasps> dude, I just saw something flash through that doorway right now. Was that you? I want to see you. Possibly even reach out and touch you, too. Yo, I don't know if I caught that on camera, but something just rushed. Like it was like from from the left to the right. I didn't see it, but I felt something. You felt something? I felt something for sure. Yeah, there's something in here. It came through the ceiling. And there was two people here that did not believe in like paranormal or ghosts or anything. And the guy like he freaked out. I mean, he had one hell of a story, but he was standing right over there and watched the very same gray creature. If you guys want to capture what we capture on the spirit box, I'm actually going to turn this off and we're going to wait for my spirit box session and uh, same with Jody. Jody's going to do a separate spirit box. So be sure to hit up his channel so you can see exactly what happened. Sometimes the, the spirit boxes do get these spirits in here more active. I'm all sweaty. Just now Jody did a spirit box and he asked, what's up here? Can you tell me your name? And it said evil. Well, I have some footage here that I'm going to share with you of the evil that has been seen up here. This is the creepy crawler, they call him. Um, he crawls around on all fours. Bro. So we don't call his name anymore. Right. Because it gives him too much power. That is amazing. And I was just hanging out up there like it was nonchalant. If you look, you remember back in the day, they'd wear those little black shoes with the white uh, socks with the lace around the yes. ankle. Look right there. That's a little girl standing right there. See the dress with the shoe and the sock. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, oh, wow. there's a little boy standing there. Look at my screen. Too. I got, I'm like kind of zoomed into it. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. This almost wow. looks like he has a hat on or something. There's a little boy beside her. So, yeah, that creeper 
I guess has a name and they do not like saying his name because it gives him power. He's very aggressive and there is a part of this third floor that he haunts the most. We're gonna go there after the spirit box session unless he's here right now. Before I turn the spirit box on, do you want to say anything? Maybe you want to show yourself? Are you actually evil? Are you up in the ceilings? They did say that's where they seen you. Spirit Box app that I'm using right now. If you like it, I have a link down below in the description where you can download it yourself and do some Spirit Box communication. Just be careful and say a prayer after. Are you evil? Here with us? Here. Here. It's not very good. We want to know what, what haunted this room. What came from the ceiling right now? Can you tell us? Foot. Say hello. <laughs> Are you walking in the hallway right now? Waiting. 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 Are you waiting for us? See you, is that okay? <laughs> Alright, we're coming. The water. You said when she put her water, hand inside yeah. the entity, it felt like sure. it made a water. Do you feel like water? Check him out. <laughs> All right, Omar is going to take me to see the crawler that's been seen on the third floor. We're going to see the general area where they have spotted the crawler. You know, I is it here? Oh, it's right over there. It was right here, right in this shot, right here. Do some swinging down there. No. Uh -huh. <gasps> oh, what is that? Bro, oh, isn't that right where they? No, no, it was right here where they caught it. Right here. I, I don't know. I don't Why know if it was swinging? here. Hello? Hey, you want to hear something crazy? Yeah. So, see this line right here? Yeah. That line would make it where only surgery, like surgery type nurses, like only the, the, sur the nurses that were uh, for surgery could pass those. So oh, if, really? if you weren't a, like a surgical type nurse, you couldn't pass that line. Like the higher up type nurses. And they they say that, that the spirit that haunts that room, mm -hmm. 
that she sometimes won't cross this line. So they're thinking maybe she was a nurse. But what, about that moving. what was over here moving that? They're still moving. This is where the spirit of that crawler lives. Oh, really? Yeah. Hello? I heard we could find the crawler here. What the heck is this? That's a like a sterilizer. There's like little kids toys all over this place. And that's what fell out of the roof was a kid's toy. It was. Creepy crawler. You're here. Why don't you touch this meter and make it light up? We already know you got enough energy to manifest yourself. You've been seen, you've been caught. Are you getting any spikes? Nothing yet. I heard that woman say that that hallway we passed, that that's a hot spot. But I didn't realize that that's where it was. Like this, this hallway right up here. She was showing pictures and she was like, that's a hot spot for us. Now that we're here, we'll see. Can you make the meter go off? Maybe he's not in here. Huh? Maybe he's not in here. One thing's for sure, X does not mark the spot because he's not here. Go down to the second floor. You want to stay up here for a little bit longer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll kind of just wander around. I want to see this thing. All right. You have a break room here if you're investigating a fridge there. See if anybody's in here. Nope. I was in this bathroom earlier and there's no lights on in it. See, see, can't turn the light on. Sometimes when I go ghost hunting, I get scared. So I end up having to go caca. Well, I don't have to go caca anymore, but while I was in here trying to figure out who's there? If you're here, can you, can you move that door for me?
I know you're here. You don't have to be afraid. Oh, cool. What is this? I thought this was a Bible at first, but it's it's like for medicine. Maybe a pharmacology book. A medical dictionary, cool. Nurse Betty, are you here with me? So the reason why I keep naming a particular ghost here, it's a nurse that haunts this area of the hospital right here. She was found in this room right here, dead, after suffering from a heart attack. I thought it was a room, but it's a bathroom. So she was in the bathroom. And Can you make my meter go off, Betty? Where are you? fam so I was not paying attention and I just happened to look at my SD card and I only have three minutes and 14 seconds now less left on my SD card so I think this is gonna be the end which I'm okay with so let me know in the comments if you want to see me come back here again I'm thinking about I don't know maybe sometime in the near future coming completely alone and just having this place to myself with more SD card storage of course. This is probably one of the most scariest places if not the scariest place I've ever investigated. Uh, not because I'm ter- I, you know what I'm not gonna lie alright? Like I've been to some scary places like you'll know when you come here to the Old South Pittsburgh Hospital like you just you just feel it. I mean even the people that work here every day for years and years and years they still get scared and there's still places that they don't go into that we just went into today especially that room where the crawler has been seen. Uh, we didn't get no activity in there, but maybe you did see something. Maybe you heard something. Let me know here in the comments. Be sure to check out my boy, Jody Dean, Mr. Hunting the Dead. I'm going to try to meet up with him right now on the third floor. Make sure he's okay. If you want to see more footage here, I do have another video. Before we got locked up, some of the workers shared a lot of the history here. And I do have that as an exclusive video for my members. Be sure to check that out if you're a member. And it's on the community page. Pretty amazing. And we did catch some amazing footage. Got to go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss.